Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to navigate the menu for your controller on Steam. Um, I put out a video a couple months ago that was showing how to enable your controller for Steam for any game and uh, how to use the big picture mode and a little bit about the menu itself. Um, today I'm going to show you how to upload or download to the community and also um, the templates that you can use for any game. So we'll use Verdun as an example. Um, we go into the control settings and if you're in game you can actually hit the PS button it'll bring you to the same menu eventually. Um, but if you look here Black Mill Games has an official layout for Verdun. It says keyboard, WASD, and mouse. Uh, if you view the layout, it is just a basic template of uh, what Steam offers for any game that you can put on your controller. So they didn't do anything to change the settings to make it fit the game. So really this won't work on that game and uh, you're not going to be competitive at all. So we'll go back to... Uh, current button layout and hit X and then this is going to bring up the menu for um, the templates and community layouts so first we'll start out with the templates and as you can see here the very first one is the exact same one that they put up as their recommended um, so like I said it's just a basic template they didn't do anything to it they just said this is the one that you can use um, the other template that I use, I don't do anything with this one, this one, or this one here. Uh, the one that says Gamepad. If you have a game that you're going to play that's going to be uh, full controller support, then you can use this template. And then you can adjust your settings from here and change everything however you want it. But this is going to give you the, the basic uh, template for a regular controller. Um, now if we go over to community and click on it, you can see uh, there is a person that has uploaded their settings. And on some games, depending on how popular the game is and how many people are using controller on it, you'll have a whole list of like 50 different control settings to choose from. Um, but on this one here, it's such a small game and a small community, that's why I'm sure there's only one. So we'll click on uh, his settings and if you look here, he did put uh, effort into changing things. Uh, he's also labeled things. Uh, like if you look on the D-pad, uh, you know, uh, down is he has mask put on and um, he's got comms for left. So, uh, you know, he put an effort into, you know, labeling, which is really, really helpful, especially if you're using somebody else's settings so you know what they do. Uh, now, if I want his settings, if you look on the bottom right, it says apply layout, so I hit square. Now, all of his settings and all of his sensitivities and everything is switched over to my controller. So now, if I look at my layout, I have all of his settings on here. So let's say we get a community setting that we want to change something because we want something on a different button or whatever. Um, like, for instance, uh, if we go over to um, the buttons, go over to circle, you can see he has a uh, crouch, okay? So C is going to be the crouch, and then he's got control key, and it's a second command with double press. If you look at the left in blue, you double press to get that button. So we're going to get rid of that completely, okay? This is going to be your crouch if you hit circle. And then we want this to be prone. Normally prone is going to be Z. So we'll go here with X and then go to keyboard. Go down to Z. Now we have Z as our second command on that button. And of course if you press it once, it's going to try to do both at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a long press. And how you do that is go over to settings, click on it, click on regular press, 
and then that brings up the list of what you can change it to and you can see you got a double press here you got a long press and several others but these are the only three i ever use so we're going to do long press now if you look at command two it has in blue long press so now when i press circle it crouches when i want to go prone i hold circle okay now crouch is not always on toggle so you can't hold it down like you would if that was the only button on there or you're going to prone so if we want that to toggle you go over to the settings on the c and then go down to settings again if you go all the way down here you can toggle now that's going to uh, press once uh, you're going to crouch long press you're going to go prone so let's say for instance we want to do like a third command on this same button so what we'll do is we'll go up here to settings again we'll do add an extra command and let's say we want it to throw a grenade uh, just for instance so grenade is usually g so we'll pick g now if you look here we got command one is crouch command two is prone and then command three is throw a grenade but as you can see it's just the press button again so we'll go over to settings go to regular press and then we'll do double press now if you look at command three double press in blue for the g key so now on that one button on the circle button we can do crouch prone and double press to throw a grenade so that's just kind of one of the benefits to controller over keyboard and mouse is you can change so many things and you can put multiple uh, commands on one button and with all the buttons that we have to choose from and controls uh, there's several you can do and i'll show you a good example of that, uh, of that before we finish um, like if i go to my arma game you can look here i've got uh 2300 hours in the game and every single bit of it's been played with a controller but if you look at my controller settings you can see that i have changed everything on here and i started out with just the the regular template um, uh, wasd so when with this setting here i can fly any of the helicopters uh, i can uh, drive any of the vehicles, use any of the weapons, um, and you can see like on the right hand side where I got, you know, crouch and prone, and I have everything labeled as well, so it's easy to remember what to do, so um, like I said, that's one of the benefits to having uh, a controller is you can put so many settings on here, and, and Arma has an unbelievable amount of uh, controller settings, so um, so anyway, hope this helped out and uh, I'll be doing some more where I'm a little more specific like on how to label stuff and things like that. But uh, for now, that's uh, that's all we got today. So have a good one.